on Friday, we had the honor to talk to Medal of Honor recipient uh, Gary Michael Rose. He spoke to students at Baylor. Listen to what he had to say about veterans. And I said, okay, imagine yourself. This is June 6, 1944. You're 18 years old. You've got a rifle on your back. You've got ammunition, grenades, maybe a day's worth of food and water. And you're climbing down a rope ladder and you're getting in a Higgins boat. And you're heading for a beach. And you're about to oppose an army that's been at war for six years. These hardened combat troops, the Germans. And you're going to land on a hostile beach. He then told the students to look around. He said if they would have been there on D-Day, many would not make it home. The others would still be on that beach 75 years later. Combat veterans tell us all the time they return to the war every day in their minds. All these people all these years have gone off to war, defended this country, defended our beloved Constitution, and yet they come home from that horror and they built your schools, they built your roads, they put in your electrical grids, your sewage systems, and they try to make each one of these communities better. Gary Michael Rose was awarded the Medal of Honor in 2017 for actions in the Vietnam War 47 years earlier. He told us what receiving the Medal of Honor means to him. I think that I'm over-recognized for what I did, because if I had not done what I did, I would have failed myself, the guys I was with, the Army, my unit. And I consider myself a custodian of this award. It doesn't belong to me. Because if you looked at the unit I was with in that involvement, we could have drawn straws, and any one of those guys could have received this. So think about those words and then listen to this story about Mr. Rose. His story is incredible. September 1970, he was in a four day battle in Laos. He was an army medic. Two days in, he's hit by an RPG. He literally, a hole was blown in his foot. Hand got pretty uh, mangled in all of that. He finds a stick and uses that stick as a crutch for two more days, saving lives. Estimated he saved about 70 lives during those four days. When they come in to get everyone out of that area, he waited for the last helicopter. Now, as we know, helicopters land during combat. When the enemy sees that, they start to catch on to what's happening. They shot down his helicopter. He fell out of the helicopter. He is lying on the ground, watching the helicopter about to land on him. Somehow it misses him. Helicopter crashes. He gets up and keeps treating people. For days, he's out there just treating people. Now, because it was in Laos, um, nobody knew that story. It was classified for 30 years. 47 years later, he receives the Medal of Honor. Just an amazing story.